Welcome back to Zeke Land. Just doing a bit of rubber collection today, or well, sticky resin collection, because I have some plans for some industrial craft machinery and this volcano here. So I'm going to grab as much of this as I. What the hell? What? Wolfie? Um, what, what, what was that? What, what just happened? Hey, I'm back from my expedition to get all this sticky resin. Yay, I got heaps. I have no idea what that was out by the spawners. Uh, when I got there, there was nothing there. But anyway... Where are my bottles? I have a plan for today. We're going to go back to the nether, but we're going to go prepared. I'm going to go find myself some blazers. What was I doing over here? So I'm going to find some blazers to get some blazer rods. Because blazer rods are needed for the ender chest mod, and I think it's about time I started using them. Usually when people go find blazers for the first time, they die a horrible fiery death. But lucky for me, I have... Magma creams from killing those, uh, what were they, the zombie pigmen priest dudes. So I can make fire resist potions from the word go. And that's pretty quick, so I don't really have much time to go do other stuff while it's cooking. Let's put those away. And I want to throw some redstone in just to make them a bit longer. Cool. Now, also, just while that's cooking, I noticed that a lot of the... Oh, hello, slime balls. That's weird. A lot of the mobs from Mo Creatures weren't spawning anymore. So I went into the options, hey duck, and hit the reset button. So everything's back to its defaults. I turned off the ogres again. And now, suddenly there's life everywhere. That's great. Anyway, back to my potions. Now I know there's another fortress pretty close to where my portal is, so I'm just going to go find that and have a bit of an explore. Let's see if I can find some blazers. Now, I'm pretty sure... No, I need a new sword before I go. And then I'll be all set. So I'll do that, and I shall see you on the other side. Bane of Arthropods. Oh, well. What is that? That's a giant rat with a fiery tail. <laughs> Huh? What? You left me fire. How strange. Alright, this looks pretty decent in size. Surely there's got to be a blaze spawner in here somewhere. And how do we want to get up there? That looks dangerous. Let's just go up the side. Which I can do. This way. Yep, and save myself some blocks. There we go. And some very convenient glowstone. I think I'll leave that until I get a silk touch pick. Is that another rat? There is another rat. I wonder if he'll leave me fire as well. Going through here. Awesome. Nope, no fire. Okay, that looks like there might be a blaze spawner over there. What is that one? That's a horse. I think that's an aggro horse. Yeah, that's definitely an aggro horse. Damn, would have been nice to have one of them as a pet. And yep, there is a blaze spawner, so before we go any further, no fiery death for me. Hey guys. Yeah, too easy. Right, I'm going to need a bunch of these. 
Now we're going to collect a few and head off back home again. Is that another nether structure over there? I think it is. They don't seem to be joined. Oh, there we go. You guys need to spawn faster. No, come back. Don't go out there. Where's that guy? Why? Where are you going? It's a silly place to go. Come in here. Would you stop going out there? Yep, every single one of them dropped a blaze rod. Typical. Alright, I've still got a few minutes left on the fire resistance potion, so we can do this. Oh, that kind of hurt, actually. There we go. Come here, blaze rods. Sweet. Let's see if I can find some more fire. Give me fire. Redstone. That's not fire, but I'll take it anyway. Yay, lots of fire. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Okay, now to go home. Which way is home? I think it's this way. Okay, now that we're back, it's time to start working on a better storage solution. Where are my enemies? There they are. Don't know where I'm going. Anyway, so what I need to do for this is find my obsidian. Which is where? There. This is all the beginnings of my better storage system, actually. So I put those there. How many of these do I need? I need one in each corner. Leaving me two. Hopefully that'll be enough. And I don't actually have everything I need on me. So let's remove that. There we go. I'm also going to need that. And we're going to put those chests in there. Okay, let's try that again. Two of those. They're in there. One of, two of these in each corner, because I want to make two of these items. Uh, that goes on top. That goes on the bottom. No, that goes in the middle. There we go. End of chests. Do they stack? They do stack. Sweet. And then if I turn all of that into blaze powder, I should be able to make... Uh, let's see, they go one in each corner. I think it was three like that. And one of those. And one of those. Yeah, there we go. End of pouch. So that one stays with me. And these ones, hopefully I can break it with what I've got. But we're going to stick one of those here. There we go. And just like standard vanilla Minecraft ender chest, you can stick stuff into there. And you can get it out of any other ender chest. But the big difference is, see I can even grab it out of these ender pouches. The big difference is I can get myself some stuff, which I don't have any of. Where's all my die? Where's all my die? There it is. Let's go with some yellow. Let's stick some of that on top. There. And now, suddenly no arrows. Because they are still in... They're not in anywhere. Actually I took them out. They're in the white version, so put a white version. Yeah, the white one's got the arrows, yellow one doesn't. So I can put whatever colour combination I want on top, and it gives me a whole new storage. Here's a big test. Come on, come on, come on, this is taking a while. Oh yes, good, I got it. I was a little worried about that. I might have to go back and grab some more blaze rods. I'm going to have to do that anyway, because I want more of these things. But the idea is, if I grab one of these... Oh, they are very noisy, now that they're back. I have, I have so many chests with so much stuff. I have no idea where everything is now. Where's all my engines? Don't think I have any. I'm going to borrow one. Alright. I don't have anything to activate it with. Wow, so prepared. Uh, let's see, there's a lever. That'll do. 
So if we stick an end of chest next to a pipe. Oh good, that wasn't all. I probably should have checked that first. We activate that. Will this work? Yes, it will. Awesome. This is basically going to form the basis of my entire storage operation now. Is it also with these chests and pouches, one thing that's very important. I can't actually change the color on the pouch directly, but I can right click there and now I have access to that inventory. Cool. So now whenever I go caving, anything that I stick into the pouch will automatically get sucked out of the chest. That's great. And it's going to be divided up so ores will get put into the factory system and resources that come out of the factory system go into their own chests everywhere. And I'll have block chests like this one that will fill up with dirt and cobble, whatever else. Anyway, you can stop now. Thank you. Ah, it's going to work awesome. And the place that I want to put my industrial craft stuff, as I said in the intro, was over at the volcano. So I'm going to need to grab my uh, my filler from my achievement hole, which is this way, and head over to that volcano. I'm going to need to extend this a little bit. Maybe I should work on the next floor and start putting some stuff up there, because I've run all out of room down here. That's still pretty dodgy. <laughs> anyway. Back we go to the volcano. Was that the turtle? I think it was. Cool, free chicken. Thanks, kitty. Okay, first thing I want to do is find out where that lava in the middle is. My plans for the volcano is I'm going to hollow out the inside of it, but try and leave this nice natural rough outside. And turn it into like my evil, evil genius uh, base. Where all of my machinery is going to live, it's going to do all of my ore processing. And it's covered in turtles. This is the most awesome volcano ever. <laughs> Okay, so it's this line. There's another one. Oops, that was a little far. Alright, now I'm going to set this filler up and get it working and start hollowing this whole thing out properly. I know there's lava up here somewhere. Is. Ah! That was weird, but okay. Whoa, that's still coming. Um, do I? Yes, I do still have a fire resistance potion. Aha! Very handy. Alright, so this is the middle. Let's just torch those up. I found the core and now I need to set my filler up so I can clear this area out. And I'm going to see if I can make use of this end chest to move the, what is it, basalt cobble? Yep. Back to my storage area. Which I think eventually will come over here anyway, but that's beside the point for now. So I'll get working on that. And I'll see you next time. Alright, one last thing before I go. We are back in the achievement hall. Up on the second level here. And I had to go find another dog. So he can sit here and be part of this achievement monument. Now, there we go. There. Not very good, but it'll do. This one 
Actually, I think maybe I should have built a back one. That oh, doesn't matter. So this one is the Kurt J. Mac approved potential Wolfie sighting. Episode. What are we up to? 27? There we go. Now, this is going to be our stand in Wolfie. And hopefully, should be able to recognize what that is. Alright, I'm going to start prettying up this level now as well. Get rid of this cobble everywhere. I don't think I like having the, the second layer of wood along here, so I'm going to have to think of something else. Anyway, I can do that later. For now, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Great, now I'm sick. <laughs>